he swore dark vengeance for the slaying of Patroclus. Upon Achilles' return to the ranks of the Greeks, Agamemnon and the kings and princes of Greece rejoiced and gave thanks to the same gods they had earlier so vehemently condemned. But Achilles was without his armor. Hector had wrenched it from Patroclus' body and claimed it as his due spoils of battle. It was Thetis, Achilles' mother, who intervened. She came to her son with gifts of solace offered by the gods, the instruments of rightful revenge.
ever gave birth to Troy. We are all sons of Scamandros, and will not allow it to be tainted by Greek Pester. It is not I that will pollute the mighty Scamandros, but the fetid corpses of your men. Your blood the distant stars! Achilles, I will no longer stand by as you stain my waters with the blood of those I have nourished for generations! Your people will perish, River God. The gods have no say in this, for it is not fate, nor divine plan that wills it, but I! Hydus sent you back. One death is all a man has to offer, and yet you return for more. Go back to your eternal night. Your end will come soon enough! Achilles, as we are both men of honor, let us promise that whoever wins today shall return the body of the other to his people. 
I will promise this to you before the gods. Will you do the same? Lions do not make promises to men, nor wolves to sheep. Your blood will quench Aris's thirst, and your flesh will be left for wild dogs to tear asunder. Tear yourself. 